third and last package. Um, this might surprise many people. Okay, uh, let's open it up and let's have a look see. It is a DVD player. So now why in today's modern world would anybody want to purchase a DVD player? Okay. The first thing is DVDs. Now Laptops, some laptops has got a built-in DVD player. Um, most of the laptops coming out today and the newer type of laptops do not have a DVD player, CD players. You actually got to buy a separate um, plug-in USB port or uh, DVD player so that you can play DVDs on your computer. But now I've got the DVD, so I decided I'm going to get a DVD player. But not any DVD player. I know the brand. And my experience that I've had is that this brand makes the best optical laser pickup of all the items. So that's one of the reasons why I actually went for this DVD player. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Package is a bit destroyed. Okay, as long as what's inside is not destroyed, then I'm quite happy. Right. Oh, this is a warranty. Yeah, I don't need a warranty. What do we have? We have a remote. We have connection cords. Oh, they're even giving you batteries for the remote. Batteries for the remote. And then your instruction manual. Once again, the brand, they come up with a very good instruction manual, which you can follow very easily. You don't need to be able to read. Um, you just follow the pictures. I'm a picture man, I like to read pictures rather than trying to figure out what the Kings Dickens is going on. Okay, let's have a look at the DVD player. Very compact design. It's not going to stick out like a sore thumb. If you put it down somewhere, okay, let's see, let's see what's in the front. This is where you load just your DVD or CD in, uh, infrared scanner, and if your remote doesn't work, you can stop start um, power button. One of the features that really drew my eye was the USB. So what this means is if you have an external hard drive with movies on, pictures, um, things that you usually drive through your computer or your laptop, you can now plug it into here and you can actually play it through this unit straight onto your TV. Uh, it's going to give you better quality, bigger size, all that stuff. Okay, your cord that they had supplied you with connects you up onto your TV. 
But another feature that drew my eye, HDMI. Now the HDMI is a power, is a, basically all these three put into one cable and it's a screen cable which is going to give you high definition and no breaks in the play. But also with this HDMI, HDMI you can actually plug it into a computer monitor that is HDMI and you can play everything that you want to through this DVD player. You can play DVDs if you've got old movies, old, like I said, pictures, CDs, you can play it through this unit or you can play it through the USB port. Now, reading up on what all this unit can read, um, it is actually they assured that it will read most of the DVDs and the drivers that you do get out there. So a test will be once I've got it all connected up to give it a bash and see how, how it operates. Okay, I can just quickly, it's not now connected up into anything but I suppose I can power it up. Um, I've powered it up now, so nice little blue light, uh, off, on, uh, alright, seems like you're going to have to, to get the door open, you're going to have to do your remote. And the remote says, gives you all the options on there. Go to language display. So obviously once you've connected up onto the um, TV or the HDMI monitor, it will give you all the functions that's required. There we are. Door open. Door closed. I don't read. And you can actually watch. I will set it up and we can do it five minute review on how I connect it up. Okay, well, as I said, the connecting up of the unit, I'm going to use my HDMI cable, which plugs into the one end of it, yeah, and the other end plugs into your TV, which I'll connect up when we're up and going. Now oh, cable, I'll just throw it to the back. Let's see. If 
power is connected. What I explained about the USB port is my portable hard drive. I've got a couple of pictures and movies on there. And go plug it in and you'll be able to look at anything through this straight onto your TV. If you do not have a smart TV like we do, then you will use the RCI cables, um, which is your left, right, and then your video. But we have a smart TV, so it'll accept the HDMI cable. Um, all that I will do is I'll connect up the HDMI cable up onto the back of the TV, and then I'll be able to have a look at what's on the hard drive. We will be able to play the CDs. Uh, so it's a little entertainment center on its own, which is something that I was looking for because playing my portable hard drive through the smart TV, some of the um, videos that I have on here the smart TV will not play because it doesn't recognize the drivers and those drivers aren't on the smart TV so it can't play. Now my hope is that this unit will recognize those drivers and then put it over onto visual so I'll be able to watch most of my movies again rather than going to go and play it through the um, laptop and as I said if you have a a monitor a computer monitor that is HDMI that is HDMI all you do is you plug your cable straight into the monitor and it'll do the same whatever you want it to do it'll do the same as well and um, you'll be able to set it up through the monitor so that in a nutshell is my little my little present to ourselves thank you for watching thanks for the patience Good evening. Bye.